Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Breitling Chronomat 44. You can see this in-house caliber Breitling Chronomat with two-tone rose gold and stainless steel on our website. Purchase it there. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. You can also click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen to see our full commercial listing for this Breitling Chronomat 44 with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images, and naturally complete pricing details for this timepiece. Now, on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can get a sense of the watch's relative size and its fit. It's big, 44 millimeters across the round of the case. That doesn't include crown guard, chronograph pushers, or crown. In terms of thickness, it's not too bad, although Honestly, it's the slimmest wearing 17 millimeter watch you'll ever encounter, so that's either going to be good or bad. If you're used to wearing thick watches, this one might be a little bit of a relief from the nearly 20 millimeter thick class of which it's a member, or you might say 17 millimeters in any of its form is simply excessive. This is a sports watch. I'm not going to wear it with a suit. Purely your discretion. What I will say is from lug to lug, it's also, well, big. 55 millimeters across the wrist. This is not a, a shrinking violet. This is a large bold timepiece. It's designed to be worn outside of a cuff, even a dress cuff. The presence of rose gold makes this one stately and becoming in a suit. However, the 500 meter water resistance means it's equally apropos for a bathing suit. Now the watch is very substantial. It's a big timepiece, but it's built like the proverbial bank vault in addition to weighing as much as one. You can see the beautifully polished and differential sized links of the slash cut pilot style bracelet. Now this is one of Breitling's classics. Supple on the wrist, very handsome. Nevertheless, it doesn't have the quality of being rather relatively dainty or petite or feeling in any way underserved in this role. Uh, it, it is much tougher than Rolex's Jubilee in construction. So although it has the same number of links and the same kind of sort of small intermediate link design, it's a million miles removed from a Jubilee. It's a sports watch bracelet and it feels it. Now, you can see a beautiful high polish, single fold deployment, closes very secure with the clamshell action, and a beautiful Breitling rose gold marquee. You can also see that the watch makes effective use of its two-tone theme on the bezel. It has the traditional rider tabs, albeit pared down with this galactic style digital bezel that debuted back in... I want to say 2011 on the Galactic line, you can still grasp the rider tabs more easily than a conventional bezel, and they make for easy manipulation when your hands are wet, sweaty, or gloved. Because it is a unidirectional bezel, and because it does have a luminescent pearl, it is technically a dive style bezel, and this watch, with constant seconds indicator, 500 meter water resistance, the unidirectional bezel and the luminescent pearl is both an aviation-centric chronograph and it qualifies as an ISO 6425 diver. It meets all the criteria of a dive watch despite being aviation-oriented. Now, of course, you have a chronograph, the king of complications and a signature of Breitling since at least the 1920s. You can see that the chronograph features a vertical clutch action. This is the in-house caliber B01, so 70-hour power reserve, column wheel function selector, vertical clutch engagement, it stops without stagger, it starts without a jump, and you'll note resets precisely to the index at 12 every time. One of the advantages of a vertical clutch is you can simply leave it running with no hazard to the watch or movement. The vertical clutch does not wear down the drivetrain in advance of a conventional service as a lateral clutch would. So if you like to have seconds at center, just leave the chronograph running. Now, of course, you have a beautiful metallic brown dial with a center cutout guilloche and the center cutout is rectangular in shape and it's mirrored by different cut patterns that run vertically and horizontally across the respective sub-registers of the watch so it's a handsome accent and you can see how it's bounded by the geometric cut of each individual rose gold hour index. Fully loomed hour indices and hands at center. It's an easy watch to see in low or no light conditions. Moreover, it's important to note that the watch has so many warm tones between red, brown, rose gold on the dial that it just has a charming character that can sometimes be absent in the oversized sports watch class where big and bold tend to take priority, elegance, warmth, sometimes get second shrift. Not so here. This is a watch with a lot of personality, character, and charm to it. On the case back, solid. Breitling attests to the chronometer status of the watch and the 500 meter water resistance, and you can see the Breitling logo embossed. A handsome watch, satisfying to operate with the tactile pleasure of a column wheel and the precision of a vertical clutch. You can see this handsome 70 hour power reserve, 500 meter diver, aviation, oriented chronograph, a true versatile tool watch, 
in every respect two-tone for bathing suit or business suit. See and purchase this Breitling Chronomat 44 on our website.